As a seed retainer you must surely know this incredible verse that holds many secrets. Quoted from the Bible, Matthew 5 28, But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. This verse demonstrates the power of your eyes, as a seed retainer you know very well that one of the benefits that most like the community is the power that resides in their eyes. I related benefits such as, improved vision in general, clearer and cleaner eyes, eyes full of light and shine like the eyes you had when you were a child, look strong and confident before anyone, being able to maintain prolonged eye contact with ordinary people and with girls who they attract you, among others. The eyes along with the hands and feet are sensitive to the transmission and absorption of energy, which is why many scholars of the law of attraction request that the apprentice imagine that he is seeing face to face what he wants, car, money, mansions, women, etc. It is because the eyes can transmit energy to where the person has their attention at a given moment. You, having a lot of energy through your seed, have to be careful where you focus your attention, since that is, translate where you are investing your sacred energy, that's why the controllers of the world love to have your attention on stupid things that only drain you through your visual attention, porn, movies, TV, social media, etc. Now let's go back to the verse, when you look like an imbecile on the street at a woman you are giving her your attention and your energy since through your eyes and your mind you are providing said energy. Women are very sensitive to energies. You as a retainer have a lot of energy, so when you look at the breasts, butt, legs of a woman, she can unconsciously feel that energy hitting your body, dirty energy full of sexual lust in some cases. Women thrive on the energy that men give them, on the validation that, the simps provide, for whom do you think what are social networks designed for? For ordinary men who generally have low self-esteem and climb a photo per year? Or for women who upload 10,000 photos of their trip with various poses and little clothing? Social networks are full of photos of models with modified bodies and perfect faces with filters artificial. Our ancestors of the caves did not see so many women with that type of attributes. Instead, we see each other all day on social networks and on the street. Whenever you see a woman with lust either on your phone or on the street you are draining your energy and you are polluting your temple with sexual lust, since as you know your brain does not distinguish whether the woman you are looking at is in pixels or flesh and blood. This is going to annoy you, but every like and love you give to semi-naked models on social media denigrates you like true man who retains his seed, don't do it, eliminate the sources that will generate a future relapse. I have seen countless cases of strong men being like little dogs next to their women who know they are in control about said man with what they have between their legs, the lustful man will always be controlled by the women because he will never refuse to pedestalize a woman just because she has a huge butt and round breasts. Freeing yourself from lust will separate you from mediocre men on a spiritual level. The woman's body is sacred, that is the temple of God along with your body, do not look for the temple of God in an artificial construction of four walls, that was created by religions to disorient humanity and make us forget how powerful and sacred we are. The entire West has been conspired to destroy our sacred sexuality. The controllers know how sensitive it is the brain of the man before suggestive sexual images. For that reason he looks at the clothes that women wear in the street, shorts, that almost completely show her legs, blouses that show almost her full breasts, very tight clothes that mark her ass and you remain as hypnotized when you see them walk, all that you see throughout the day, every ass, chest and legs you lust after, in the day will be recorded in your subconscious, and at night, wet dream, you damaged your temple with lust brother. Do you know why in some countries it is forbidden for women to show their bodies and their faces? By religion some will say, the wise men of old who knew how female body patterns work in our brains they made such bands, just do the test, Look for a picture of a hooded Muslim woman to which you can only see her eyes and put her next to a Western woman on the beach with. With minimal clothing and a suggestive sexual pose, the Muslim woman will not create arousal or lust in you, the Westerner. Well, the pixels have been so strong that they have made our seed spill for years. Ahem. The verse is clear, if you look at the woman with covetousness you are adulterating. Adulterating? Let's see the definition of that term. Sexual relationship of a married person with another person who is not his spouse. It says sexual intercourse, but, am only seeing the woman, I am not having a relationship with her. Exclaims the man full of lust. Whoever wrote the Bible knows very well the power of the human body and its energy bodies, although not there is physical contact, internally you have done damage to the energetic body of a defenseless woman, and worse, still you infected your energetic bodies with lust. So I never have to see women anymore? Are you crazy? No, I don't want you to think that, women are beautiful and on a biological level they are the 
reason why we seek to continue living, is the motor and primitive motivation of our brains. What I ask of you brother is that you completely, transmute the lust that exists in you, because of the PMO into pure love and conditionally, look women in, the eye, look through their soul, recognize their strengths and weaknesses, stop pedestalize their bodies, stop thinking about everything you would do to them in bed, the mind is very powerful and sacred and your eye should always transmit, unconditional love. When you have sex, most of them explode in three minutes, they did it fast and with lust. When you procreate with lust, that lust will be passed on to your offspring, along with your bad habits since we all they affect your sperm, and your DNA, take care of your sacred temple brother so that your offspring are more and more pure in this degenerate world. No fap, the beginning of real men. Seminal retention, the beginning of the kings. Mental and physical celibacy, the beginning of the gods free from lust. Transmute lust, that is the real cause why you never progress on this journey. If you like the video make sure to subscribe because through the statistics I see a lot of people are just ninja watchers. We put a lot of effort to make videos to help our community of nofap so you subscribing, sharing, liking the video is something you can show as a gratitude towards our effort. Thank you.